Hi, my name is Kent Lee and I teach computer science at Luther College. In the last chapter of my text, in chapter 2 of my text, we learned that we could find prime numbers that were less than 50 by dividing and by uh, prime numbers that are less than or equal to the square root of 50, of, uh, 50 um, and uh, finding whether one of those prime numbers evenly divided, uh, evenly divided the number we were looking at. None of those prime numbers evenly divided the number we were looking at, then the number uh, was prime that we were looking at was prime as well. So in that uh, in that uh, exercise, um, we had to look at prime numbers, the prime numbers that were less than uh, this less than or equal to the square root of fifty, and those prime numbers it turned out um, were the list uh, 2, 3, 5, and 7. So I have written a list here in a Python program. A list begins with a square bracket and then has the elements of the list separated by commas within it and a, right, and a square bracket at the, at the end. So that's called a list literal or just a list in Python. And I've initialized primes. Uh, to point to that list to be a reference to that list so I can use it in my program. So I'm going to demonstrate in this video how to use the guess and check pattern with lists to determine whether a number less than less than or equal to 50 is a prime number or not. So I'm going to get some input from the user. I'm going to ask the user to enter a potential prime number. Um, we're going to call that uh, uh, x in this case. So, and we're going to do an int of input and uh, ask the user to please enter an integer between uh, 2 and uh, 49. Um, and that's inclusive, so I'm not going to put that in the prompt. But so we'll ask the, enter, the user to enter an integer between 2 and 49. And then we'll go ahead and we're going to figure out whether this thing is prime or not. Now, the guess and check pattern begins by us first making a guess. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a guess that this thing is prime. So is prime is equal to true in this case. We're making a guess that x is prime. So the is prime variable asserts that x is prime. Um, so we have two variable or three variables now in our program, the primes list. Um, x being the number in question and is prime being a boolean variable asking or asserting in this case that x is prime. Now the second part of the uh, of the guess and check pattern with lists is to go through a list of some sort um, to determine um, if our guess was wrong. Okay, so to do that, we're going to write a for loop, and in this case, we're going to go through um, primes. So we're going to say 4p in primes. And what we want to know, does p, so p is one element of this list right here, one of these elements, and we want to know, does p evenly divide x? Is that possible? So we're going to say if... Um, x percent p is equal to zero. That's what it means to evenly divide. I'll use the mod operator. So this is x mod p. And if that is equal to zero, then we want to go ahead and change our guess at this point because we were wrong. So we're going to say is prime is equal to false. Now, there is no else for this if inside of the loop, and that's important because all we're looking at here is one of the elements of this list. So um, if I had put an L, if I were to put an else on this if, it would say that is prime, um, so one common mistake would be to say else is prime equals true. And that is not what we want to do. We do not want to write that because this would assert, this condition here, only checks to see whether p evenly divides x, and p being one of the elements of this list is not going to tell us enough to decide whether or not uh, 
whether or not the, the element is prime. All we can do is set it to false using the fact that once we have gone through all of the elements of primes, if it of the primes list, if it got set to false by any one of them, then it wasn't a prime number. So after we're done with this loop, then we can consult that is prime variable to see whether this number is prime. If is prime, then go ahead and print that uh, x uh, is prime. And uh, otherwise, at this point, now we can use an else to print that x uh, is not prime. So again, we have to have the entire for loop execute first. Our if statement inside of here uh, checks our guess. So we here's our guess and check. So check our guess and fix it if we were wrong. And uh, once we have done that, then um, run through the entire list. Then after the for loop, we can go ahead and check that is prime to see whether our guess was correct or not at the beginning. So let's go ahead and run this, give it a shot. We'll save it. We're going to save it as a, a prime list.py. Ask the user to enter an integer. If I enter 47, it says 47 is prime. If I enter uh, 48, it says 48 is not prime. Um, I should also check boundary conditions when I'm going ahead and testing this. And boundary conditions, again, are things that are close to the edges of this. So for example, 49. 49 is not prime in this case. That's, uh, that's certainly true. Um, and I should probably check 2 as well. And it says two is not prime. Well, that's a problem in our in our code here. Um, and the problem is is that two, if I enter two here as x, is evenly divided by two itself, and that's something that we wouldn't want to catch in our program. Um, so we can fix that in one of a couple different ways. Um, one way to fix it would be to make sure that the that x is not in our list of primes already so we could add an, an uh, and here and that x um, uh, is not in so what we want to know that it's not in the list of primes and it turns out that we can use the word in and we're going to use a not in this case so not and not x in primes. So this says, this in here says that x is in primes, it returns true if x is in primes, and not that will return false. So if it's not in the list of primes and, it, and that prime evenly divides it, then we'll go ahead and let's see what we get here. So then if we do a little what's called regression testing, make sure that 47 still works, that still works, um, 48 still hopefully works. 48 is not prime. Um, and we'll do uh, 49. 49 is not prime. And we'll make sure that 2 works now. 2 is prime. We should probably check uh, 3 and 5 and 7 as well to make sure that we're catching all of those. And 7 and 7 is prime. And if we check something like 11, 11 is prime. So it seems to be working completely now. Um, I've done some pretty thorough testing on it here to make sure that, uh, that uh, it seems to be working for a lot of different values. So uh, this is the guess and check pattern applied to lists here. In this case, um, I need to make a guess. And then I go through a list of uh, possible counterexamples looking for a counterexample that would prove that my guess was wrong. In that case, I change my guess. And then after the for loop, I can go ahead and uh, look at my Boolean variable in this case, um, having considered all my possible counterexamples.